Today we're going to talk about the maintenance of the 1004D4 coupler from OPW Engineered Systems. The maintenance of the D4 is very similar to the D3 with a few subtle but important differences. The first step is to open the coupler by moving the sleeve forward. With the D4, you have five interlocks on the face of the coupler. All five need to be defeated at the same time for the sleeve to move forward. This can be done with your hands, or you can use a large washer or gasket, and press it in. Place the gasket or washer on the face, press down, and it pops open. Once the coupler is open, you can open the handle. With the coupler open, you can begin disassembly. The first step is to remove the handle using a 17 millimeter or 11 16 inch socket. Remove the nut. This is a special lock nut with a deformed thread. It's a single use item and once it's removed, it should be discarded. There will be a new deformed thread lock nut with your seal kit. Once the nut is removed, you can remove the handle and go on to the next step the removal of the stuffing box. The stuffing box is sealed with this large hex right here. To remove the stuffing box, you flip the coupler on its nose and unscrew the nut using a 32 millimeter or inch and a quarter socket wrench. With the stuffing box removed, you can remove the load distribution washer and the stuff box itself. The stuffing box contains seals which we will replace. With the stuffing box removed, we can now remove the shaft. And as you remove the shaft, be sure to grab the spacer from the inside of the coupler. Now we have removed the shaft and the stuffing box. There are double seals to remove on the shaft here at the bottom. And there are seals inside and on the outside of the stuffing box. Next, we will remove the seals in the stuffing box. We have one seal on the outside that seals your threads, one seal on the shaft, and another shaft seal within the stuffing box. For maintenance, you need to remove all of these seals. Begin by pulling the outer O-ring off, then move to the inner O-ring. Inside the stuffing box, there is also a Teflon sleeve that must be removed as well. Then move to remove the seal on the shaft. These seals will all be replaced with your seal kit. Let's talk about the replacement of the seals within the stuffing box. These are the parts that will be included in your seal kit. We have a Teflon sleeve, a large O-ring that will be replaced here, two smaller O-rings that will be for the shaft, one on the inside of the stuff box and one on the outside of the shaft itself. The first step is to replace the Teflon sleeve. Insert it into the end of the stuffing box until it stops. Then replace the larger O-ring for the outside of the stuffing box by rolling it over the end and into the groove. The next seal is the O-ring inside the stuffing box. You form it and press it into place inside the nut end of the stuffing box. The final O-ring slides over the shaft all the way to the bottom. After you replace the seals for the shaft and the stuffing box, the next step is to remove the poppet as well as the nose seal which contains your cylinder and cylinder O-ring. So we slide the poppet out of the face. With the poppet removed, we can now remove the cylinder. The cylinder has a nose seal, which we will replace, and it has a cylinder O-ring, which we will also need to replace. Remove the cylinder and the wave spring. Once the cylinder and poppet are removed, we can change the seals. From the seal kit, you will receive a new nose seal, as well as the cylinder seal located here. Remove the cylinder O-ring first. Then. Remove the nose seal using a small screwdriver. Insert the screwdriver into the groove to get it started. And once you get it started, you can simply pull the ring out. To replace the seals in your cylinder, you start by taking the cylinder O-ring and place it in the groove like this. 
press it into place all the way around. Then you take the nose seal and press it all the way around the cylinder, carefully pushing it into place until it's fully seated. Next, we'll begin reassembly. Basically, we'll do this in reverse order of what we just did. We start with the wave spring and the cylinder, and press them into place in the face of the D4 coupler. Then we take the poppet and feed it back through the face of the coupler. Next, we'll take our shaft, the spacer, the stuffing box, the load distribution washer, and the deformed threaded nut and washer. Get everything ready at your workstation. The first thing you want to do is take the spacer with the shaft and feed it through the body of the coupler right here. For the reassembly, we start with the shaft and the spacer and start with the hole in the body on the right side of you as you are working. You take the poppet and pull everything up. An important note, you want the orientation of the hole in the body of the coupler to your right as you are working. But also pay attention to the position of the links. They will be closer to you. This orientation is important as a reference as you work forward. Next, to reassemble, you take the shaft and insert it through the body, catching the links. Then we take our spacer and slide it through the other side of the links and onto the shaft, and press the shaft into the hole on the other side of the body. Now we're going to replace the stuffing box by threading it into place and tighten by hand. Then we'll take our 32 millimeter or inch and a quarter socket and tighten that down until it bottoms out. The next step is to replace the handle. Begin with the load distribution washer and place it over the shaft. Then take the handle and place it onto the shaft. Next, we have the Belleville washer. It's a cone-shaped washer. Feel it in your fingers and pay attention to the cone shape. The high end of the cone should face up, and then slide that onto the shaft with the high end facing out. Then you take the single-use deformed thread nut from your seal kit and place it on the shaft. Take the 17 millimeter or 11 16 inch socket and tighten that deformed nut down. Now, with everything tightened down, you can close the coupler, pull it together, and you're done. For more information, please refer to the IONM paperwork that was shipped with your 1004 D4 coupler or with your seal kit.